I had a lot of comments last time that the sound was shit. So I've got myself a new camera, new microphone, so hopefully it's going to be better. Um, I'm going to try and make this three phase motor work from a two phase plug over here. I'm going to try that there, maybe try this over here. If you can see it's um, 1.5 horsepower, 2800 RPM. Not going to go into this too much because I don't really know everything about this. Um, what I'll do, I'll link the video at the end of this one and um, you will be showing how this, these are connected. I'm not going to go into it. But it's a whole different subject that I'm not really clued up on. Um, I'm going to get this working off a single phase supply and um, then once I've got it working I'm going to, I don't know, I'm thinking about making all sorts of things but I'll keep that to myself for now. We'll take it from there. Now, if you can see this here, we've got this wire coming in. And then we've got the fucking stand playing up. We're going to put the brown wire into there. When it comes back out of the motor, it's going to come out of this blue one. That's your single phase. But what we're going to do, we're going to take a wire from this blue one through capacitors and then into the black one which is going to deliver electricity out of phase and it should, fingers crossed, make this all work okay. So that's what we're going to do. So first of all, I'm going to change the wiring of these. But before we do that, do you know what? I'd have done this by now if it wasn't for this pesky filming. Right, so first of all, I want to get rid of the power supply. The existing power in. We'll take that out just to get it out of the equation and we can see what's happening. So we'll take these off. I've just dropped the washer down into the motor. And another one down into the motor. what we've got now I've just taken those three bolts off just to allow this to come away now I'm just gonna unscrew this just gonna unscrew this earth wire and then just for now we can get the power lead out of the way Take that out, the earth, take those three off, take that off, this off, and that off, and we'll do away with that. Just for now, we'll come back to it later, I can always go back in, hopefully it's going to fucking go through the hole. No. So, I'm take these nuts off now, just to free up the other side. I'm 
now I'm going to take these little I like to call them like dog bones but I don't, I'm not sure what the actual name for them is I'm going to put them across there put these wires back on exactly where we took them off from blue to blue brown to brown and black to black we we'll set this earth back down there just come back from the park he's probably going to want feeding so I may have to just pause this and come back to it in a minute right that's got that one sorted this now is in the configuration that is going to work most efficiently with uh, 240 volts for now I don't think we, I, I don't think I'm going to need to do anything more with that so I'm just going to make sure that everything's tight. And then I'm going to put the cover back on. So there you go. So we got the motor side of it sorted. So we put that to one side. We just need to power it now. We need to make that extra phase. And um, I'll show you how to do that in part two.